Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. This is a video for you equipment geeks out there, you machinery geeks, which I'm one of you. I've always been fascinated by all the strange backgrounds of all the equipment companies and where the machinery comes from. And, and it's especially fascinating to me when you see a product that looks just like somebody else's product and the two companies that offer it are competitors. And it happens a lot in the ag world. And the reason why is uh, economies of scale. If you're in the manufacturing world, the more units you can spread your cost out over, the better you're going to do economically. And of course, in the car business, uh, you can do that by selling lots of cars because everybody owns a car. In the tractor and equipment business, the units are a lot less, there's a lot less volume. So you see some strange collaborations. And I'm going to talk about three today that were kind of weird that I encountered over my career. And this was kind of uh, spurred by a, a letter from a viewer. Um, uh, Vincent uh, and Vincent wrote me about a particular brand of tractor that he didn't recognize and he was looking at one and he was asking my opinion about it and uh, Vincent's got a couple acres he lives in Connecticut and he says I want to purchase a small tractor and I was looking at a Challenger tractor uh, with a front end loader and the guy wants 92 100 for it which seems like a good price but I can't find a whole lot of info on the tractor even online and so he wanted to know uh, what I thought about the machine and uh, there's very little information on the Challenger online but the guy that's selling it says it was made by Caterpillar. So he wanted to know what I thought about it. Well did Caterpillar make compact tractors? Well not really. Let's talk about where the Challenger compact tractor came from. It's the right color for Caterpillar. It was sold originally probably by a Caterpillar dealer but it wasn't made by Caterpillar. Let's talk about the background. Caterpillar got into the ag market in the late 80s by offering the Challenger tractor. And the Challenger was a, a really a, a, an innovative product that kind of took the farm equipment world by storm. It was a big row crop tractor with tracks on it. And there's lots of advantages to track tractors in row crop operations when they're pulling real heavy weights. Uh, number one is fuel economy, number two is traction, and number three is soil compaction. You, you can get better traction, less soil compaction, and therefore better fuel economy with a track tractor. So Challenger came out with the, or Caterpillar came out with a Challenger line, and it took the market by storm. And pretty soon everybody else is scrambling to, to offer their own track tractors. And uh, in the meantime, Caterpillar kind of decided, we're not sure we really want to be in the agricultural markets. You know, they're the leader in the industrial market, they make great margins and they understand the, the building construction market, but the ag market's a little different cap. <laughs> no pun intended. So they decided to get out of the ag market and sell off their Challenger division. And that was bought by Agco. And I worked for Agco at the time. I think that was in 2001. Agco bought the Challenger division from Caterpillar. So Agco, wanting to increase their volume at that point, because they had bought access to the Caterpillar dealership network that were hopefully going to continue to sell the Challenger product, and then they would maybe offer it to some of their Agco dealers too, they decided to offer some of their other product offering to the Challenger dealers. And part of that was in the Massey Ferguson line. And, and Agco owns Massey Ferguson. They already had mid-range and high horsepower tractors that weren't track tractors. And so they painted a bunch of them yellow and offered them to the uh, Challenger dealer network and it made a lot of sense to offer compact tractors because number one the compact tractor market was growing number two a lot of the Caterpillar dealers had rental yards and a lot of the rental uh, uh, that goes on is for small compact tractors so it made a lot of sense to offer them so they offered that product they offered a compact tractor it was basically a Massey Ferguson painted a yellow it said Challenger on the side of it and it really wasn't a Massey Ferguson. It was built by a company called Ezeki, uh, who has built Massey Compacts for a long time, but that's a whole other story. So you had Challenger tractors, and they got out there and sold a few of them, and then that didn't really work well for a lot of the dealers. Not all of them wanted to be in the ag market, and it kind of fizzled out. Now, the Challenger still sold, and it's still a popular tractor, but they're out of the small tractor business and the mid-range tractor business. So that's where the Challenger tractor came from, Vincent. It's basically a Massey Ferguson. I think you'd be better off if you buy that tractor to get parts for it from your Massey Ferguson dealer because they're going to know that tractor way better than any Caterpillar dealer does. 
Now let's talk about a couple of other kind of weird bedfellows that happened uh, in, in my history in the farm equipment business. Number one happened with a lawnmower and, and it involves Caterpillar. Uh, a lot of you have heard of bad boy lawnmowers. They've got the pretty girl in the short shorts that says mow with an attitude and they sold a lot of lawnmowers because of their great marketing. When we were a bad boy dealer, when I worked in the dealership world, they had one lawnmower with a diesel engine that said Caterpillar on it. Well, Caterpillar owns Perkins. They make big engines, Caterpillar does, but a lot of their small engines are made by Perkins, which has made engines for Massey Ferguson for years, up to a point. Well, we had a, a bad boy diesel engine powered lawnmower in our showroom, and it had this engine with cat all over the side, and because of Cat's great marketing and their reputation as a leader in construction, this seemed like a, a, a lawnmower that would be sold to the manly man that wanted uh, kind of that Harley Davidson look to have a bad boy lawnmower with a cat engine and, uh, uh, you know. Well, uh, we were trying to figure out where the engine came from, and I told everybody it had to be a Perkins because Caterpillar owns Perkins. But one day, one of our top service guys was walking by it, and he looked at the engine, he said, that's a TC-33 engine, same as New Holland offers in their compact tractors. And I'm like, no way, but when I checked it, that's exactly what it was. And at that time, the New Holland compacts were made by a Japanese company called Shibaru, and my TC-40 that I own that you see in my videos is a Shibaru tractor with a Shibaru engine in it. Great product. But somehow, that company, to get more volume for their diesel engines, had sold their engines to Cat, who had sold their name on the on the Shibaro engine to Bad Boy, and that's what was in that lawnmower. Now the weirdest thing about it, if you wanted warranty work on that engine, we could do warranty work on the lawnmower. We couldn't touch the engine under warranty. You had to take it to a Caterpillar dealer who knew nothing about it, and the guy that really knew the engine, our lead mechanic who had worked on more of those engines than anybody else in our country, he couldn't work on it under warranty. So you have some really strange things happening. Now the last one today I want to tell you will blow the mind of you green guys. Uh, John Deere wants you to think that they build everything themselves, but that's not really true. If you ever look at a bar rake that's made by Deere and then look at a Vermeer, you'll see a few similarities, actually same product. But it's really weird that Deere, who's a major manufacturer of engines, would use somebody else's engines in some of their tractors. But they have, and they do. And this will blow your mind. Now, this is not on a widespread basis. This is in their specialty tractors only. But as many millions of engines as Deere has made, they're buying an engine from Fiat, FPT, Fiat Powertrain, to put in their specialty tractors. And what's really weird about that is Fiat is the parent company of Case New Holland. CNH is owned, the bulk of it, is owned by Fiat, a definite competitor to Deer. But if you look at some of the Deer 5G series tractors on their website, it's got a Fiat engine in it. And you green guys would go, <gasps> but it's true. Long and short of it today, the Challenger tractor, if you run into a Challenger compact tractor, it's a good little tractor. I used to own one, uh, but it's a Massey Ferguson. But uh, there are some strange bedfellows in the farm equipment world, and those are the three that I know that are the strangest. Appreciate you watching my videos. I survive on web traffic. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd be honored. Click the mic face icon and check the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. This is a link to my website and the Tractor Fun Store with unique items for the tractor enthusiast. And here's a video about all the consolidation in the farm equipment business you might want to watch. Thanks for watching.